of Plus TV. My name is Andrea Rodriguez. And my name is Alita Sharp, and we are really glad that you joined us this morning. Yes. Yeah. So things are a little bit different. We're working out some stuff. We're still, yeah, still working out some We're kinks. still recovering from <laughs> Hurricane Earl. Yes, that's true. That's Damaging true. our table yeah. and all that. But, um, you know, like they say, the show must go on. Exactly. So and here we are. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been um, quite an interesting week so far, and yeah. we just started. Yeah. Um, and you know, sometimes I feel like we can just um, say, you know, I'm not going to get up this morning, uh -huh. or I'm not going to do this. But right. you know, um, we just have to keep moving, exactly. putting one foot in front of the other. Yeah, one step at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some days that's all we can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, last night was tough for me with my baby because she was sick, oh. and um, just had a really bad cold that yeah. prevented her from breathing well and she just Aww. like slept on me the entire night yeah that's um, always so hard you know and i felt like i couldn't sleep because i was uh -huh. listening to hear if uh -huh. she was breathing okay it was a long night i'm sure it was so hard for her and hard for you yes yeah. <laughs> so she's doing a little and Dion bit too because that meant there was Dion. all oh, okay. Dion slept slept through the whole thing <laughs> That's one thing That's with him. Yep. Yeah, the daddy will sleep and the mommy will keep watch, yeah. right? But he, um, we both worked with her and you know rubbed her up with some Vicks and tried to make her comfortable. Mm -hmm. And when she dozed off, that was it for him. Yeah, so he went to sleep too. But I, I had to stay up because I wanted to make sure that she was fine. Yeah, and I did take little naps in between, but. You know, when a child is lying on you yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. So today was one of those the mornings when I woke up and I'm like, oh, man, <laughs> this is going to be a long day. Yeah, but yeah. we're here. We have some great guests coming on today to talk about some important things happening. And um, I'm looking forward to having them on, Alida, because these are... Um, women who are making a choice every day to make yes. a difference in their community. Yeah. So. And making a difference in the lives of young people, and that's always exciting mm -hmm. because that that truly affects like the next generation and and the whole country. So yeah. that's always exciting. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to having them on, and I want to encourage people. Like you know, there was something the other day I saw on Facebook that just made me shake my head, like in disbelief. Oh really? You no. Know, um, builders, hardware, they were. Um, sharing about this program i just saw the ad right before the show started okay. with the trades for life program yes, yeah i think it's such an amazing program and so builders you know is supporting that initiative and they yeah. are sharing it on their facebook page but there was somebody that was offended by that because women weren't included and talking about this is what will keep our country back. We're putting women in oppression and a whole lot oh of stuff. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I was like, you've got to be kidding Seriously. me. Seriously. How can we be so negative? Yeah. Why can't we embrace yeah. such a great program that is targeting our young men right. in our country? Right. I'm like... How come I don't hear men complaining with, about the YWCA? You know, I know. <laughs> okay, they're having cooking <laughs> classes and I can't yeah, come. Yeah, I can't come. You know, yeah, no. I, I just thought it was such a, a petty and silly thing, you know, for people to be so negative yeah, about it. Yeah. And I want to encourage us stop look at everything so negative but let us share on these initiatives that are going to benefit young men and also the ones that are going to benefit young women which mm -hmm. i think they have more opportunities for women lately of late i think you know there's lots more doors opening for them which is so, exciting because exactly. there haven't always been those exactly. types of opportunities yeah. available. Yeah. You know, some of the, the negativity on, on Facebook and social media is just driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to speak to a class later on today about bullying and getting along and kindness. I, I said to somebody this morning, I wish somebody would do a class like that for Facebook. For right. Some, you know, <laughs> because it's yeah. getting ridiculous. It is. I mean, you know, it because is. that initiative is a great program. Mm -hmm. So for somebody to find something negative to stay instead of rejoicing in yeah. in the excitement of it yeah that stuff drives me crazy yep yeah. but we do have to I see it and I don't know if it's because of what's going on in the country what but there is something that 
everybody kind of seems to be on the edge a little bit yeah. and yeah. quick to lash out and yeah. they're not listening to understand but listening right. how okay so how they can reply yeah. <laughs> yeah and and i want to tell people take like you were telling me today you know you just need to take some deep breaths sometimes <laughs> i won't tell you what i told Ali I about i won't <laughs> repeat it either but yeah i that, did say just breathe <laughs> take a deep breath you know but sometimes it's true we just have to kind of take a step back yeah and look at the situation and different things and say okay you know what how will I respond to it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because, and think twice about what you're going to respond to on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. You know, one of our guests that's coming and she shared something one time that said, you know what? Not everything that is posted on Facebook, you should reply to. Exactly. You, you know, you should learn to master the <laughs> art of scrolling. Just keep scrolling, scrolling, yeah. scrolling. You yeah. don't have to. If things upset you, unfollow. Just exactly. you know, clean out your timeline. Exactly. But don't go and vent and be all negative. But yeah. think of it as a tool for you to encourage and to speak life into other people. Mm -hmm. So, and we'll talk a little bit about you know just speaking positively and you know being yeah. a mentor or helping out other people yeah. as well. So yeah. we'll do that later on <laughs> <laughs> well i was glad you mentioned the unfollow button because i feel like that's been what's kept me sane mm -hmm. you know especially with what's going on in um, my passport country mm -hmm. um, there's elections today yeah and so that unfollow button has just kept me calm mm -hmm. and sane you know during this season yeah so yeah yeah it's been my friend your passport country <laughs> <My> huh passport <laughs> country. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Passport country. Well, you know, I've lived, I've lived outside of the U.S. for 11 years now. Yeah. So people ask me, you know, are you going home? It's like, well, Belize is my home. You yeah. Know, this is where I live. Yeah. So. But it is important that we do look and pray for it, the elections because it, what happens today or whenever the results are decided will affect the entire world. It's true. It's you true. You know, everybody will be affected. So. Yeah. Yeah, keep... Alida's passport country in our <laughs> prayers today, Thank right? You. Thank and, um, you. Yeah, I unfollow. I see people talk all the time. I can't stand what this one is saying. Mm -hmm. So much negativity. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hmm, I don't have that on my feed. Because as soon as I see something, or there yeah. are certain people that you know exactly you know you know them. what they're going exactly. to post you know the types of things they like uh -huh. to stir up yes so yeah just unfollow, unfollow them unfollow. you don't have just to delete unfollow. just unfollow That's and if right. you want to find out what they're talking about or what's going on here let's go and check them then out then you can look at it yeah. yeah but it doesn't automatically come up in your feed mm -hmm. yeah but i really think we need to take a second look at how we are allowing this whole social media thing mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. such drastic changes in our lives mm -hmm. really so clean it up if it's too much like Alia said unfollow <laughs> it will help you a lot so but anyways we're going to um, take our first little break and then we will come back and bring on two wonderful young women with us this morning that will be talking about an exciting um, program that they are launching or I think already launched uh, yeah yeah I think they've already started their training mm -hmm. part portion of it. Yeah. All right, so don't go anywhere. We will be right back after this break. Here are some latest samples from Roots and Honors. Right just a glimpse of his glory, just a hint of majesty. Lord be my hero, my hero, Lord be my hero, my hero, come and be my light, my dark life. Life gives you lemons, make a lemonade, oh, it's a salad.
Dad, I'll take boardwalk off your hands for $1,000. It's almost triple. Nope. Okay, fine. I'll give you $2,000 plus the utilities. Take it or leave it. Is that all you got? Okay. I know you won't refuse this. What's good barbecue worth to you? Grace Barbecue Sauce. Builders Hardware. We are celebrating 22 years of service. Builders Hardware, a member of Do It Best Corporation, invites you to the grand opening of the newly renovated store in Belmopan on November 11th and 12th. Shop in comfort with our new signage, display shelves, our friendly and supportive sales representatives, and much more efficiency with our newly installed four cashier stations. There will be lots and lots of snacks and giveaways along with a huge store-wide sale and discounts. Up to 50% discount on selected items, 20% off paints, 25% off water heaters and pumps, up to 25% on power tools, and new to it best items. Look out for other great deals right up to the end of December. Remember to pick up a builder's hardware gift certificate for that loved one. Come celebrate with us. New and improved image and great service. We have everything from construction start to finish. Builders who build with a passion and skill go to Builders Hardware. Here are some latest samples from Roots and Honors. Right Just a glimpse of his glow. Just a hint of majesty Lord be my hero, my hero Lord be my hero, my hero Come and be my life, my time Give back Life gives you lemons Make a lemonade Oh, it's a Welcome back to Life Uncommon. We are live here in the studio at Plus TV and we've been um, having a, a interesting conversation just trying to recover from all the things that have happened so far this morning. But <laughs> <laughs> Why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I, well, I know, but I'm not going 
going to say. Anyway, we are so excited to have our some guests with us mm -hmm. this morning. Yeah. I think the cam yeah, the camera's already showing yeah. everybody. So, of course, <laughs> Anna Banner guy is no stranger to us and we are always happy to have her on the show with us. So, welcome Anna. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Thank you. Thank you Andrea and Alida for having me and having Bay on the show this morning. Mm -hmm. And you. Anna is the founder and president of Bay Belmont Pan Active Youths. And we also have um, Stacey Pope, me forgetting the last name, wait, tell me, Maury. Maury. Yes. yes, and she is a founding member of Belmopan Active Youth as well, which we will be calling B today because everybody yes. kind of knows, right? So welcome, <laughs> Stacey. Thank you. Yeah. It's a pleasure it's good to, to have be you here. here. Thanks Thank for, you. for you guys for just, you know, always, you know, want to share the information. And I don't know if you heard us, but we were talking about you both of you before you came on that you know we love the work that you guys do because mm -hmm. you're always trying to make things better improve the community help young people invest into their lives we and need you more know, people Andrea, like that i was thinking along that same line about you all this morning because <laughs> i thought that you know it would be good if life uncommon would get as much views as probably the morning talk show does, mm -hmm. you know, and so many controversy and so many negativity surrounds mm -hmm. most of yeah, those shows. That's mm -hmm. true. And when you think about life and come on, you listen to all the positive things and the positive yeah. information yeah. and the empowerment that comes from this show. So yeah. I'm hoping that viewers and, and all of us on a whole as a community can somehow get some spice or get some kind of life from listening to positive mm -hmm. things that are always gravitating to want to hear the latest gossip or the latest, yeah. you know, whatever is happening yeah. out there. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I think I mentioned something about that a while back. So it was good for us when um like Alida and I were talking, we were saying that there's a lot of negativity going on, lots of crazy stuff happening in our country. But we decided um, as a show we could either follow the trend or we could say we're going to inject hope, positivity, talk about things that will uplift each other. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is covering mm -hmm. the other part. We don't need to do that. That's we right. just need to know That's what right. our mission is yeah. here and that is to help to um, women to discover how to live that uncommon life, how to move in that opposite spirit. So that's what we try to do. Yeah, so. it's one of the things we were told is that we needed to have a strong voice and we chose for that voice to be a positive one. Mm -hmm. And we pray that it just keeps growing stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say something uh -oh. else. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's been but an anyway, interesting <laughs> morning. Yeah. Um, let us, let us um, go back to Anna because, of course, they're here not to talk about positive and negativity. <laughs> that is another, another topic. But they're here to talk about a program that I'm very, very um, just interested in. And I told Anna, you know, I wish I would have the time to yeah. give more into that. Um, but... Let us find out a little bit more about Bay, Anna. For those people who may not be too familiar about Bay, tell us a little bit. Well, the Belopan Active Youths, we got started in 2012, which means we're still pretty young. We're a yeah. very young organization. We have since then carried out two major projects. Um, one is the Drug Demand Reduction Project, and the other is the Youth Entrepreneurship um, education development project which really gears towards um, targeting youths and send them out as apprentices training them in entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and we also look at life skills training and that was a very successful project both projects were funded through CARSI the US Embassy and we're very grateful to them to having seen Bay as a good thing mm -hmm. and wanted yeah. to invest in the lives of our youths mm -hmm. and um, Bay of course we target the youths who are primarily in the Belmopan area, but okay. we even went as far as the Kaya district. Okay. And in some cases, like for example, we have an annual U21 basketball tournament and we have okay. youths coming as far as Belize City and Dangriga to play in that wow. tournament. So oh, that's exciting. we are reaching out across, um, no more across the country, but definitely yeah. we target our youths in Belmopan and mm -hmm. our Belmopan community first and foremost. Um, our mission is to empower, educate, and uh, um, positively engage young people and we target mostly at risk and unattached youths, but every young person coming in are welcome. Mm -hmm. um, we don't turn back any youth. We offer the services that we have at bay without any form of discrimination okay. or judgment upon the young person. So it doesn't matter where they have been or mm -hmm. what, th what their yeah. past um, were, 
we just look at what we have to offer them from today moving forward. Yeah. Okay. So that's basically what we do at Bay. So um, Stacy, you said that you're one of the founding members of Bay. What inspired you to get involved with this group? Well, I have always had a passion for working with young people. Um, so when Ms. Anna had came to us with the idea, I jumped on it mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's where my heart was. Okay. And from then until now, I'm still a part of the organization and I help where needed. Mm -hmm. All right. It's good. Great. Okay, so um, I know that Bay is an organization that keeps going. You're not always busy. You're always <laughs> thinking <laughs> up of the next always. thing. And you have okay. to when you're dealing with the the target, you know, your target audience, the people that you're reaching out to, these young people, you're, you can't be boring. And <laughs> you can't. Yes, that's right, Andrea. We have to be extremely innovative. Mm -hmm. And yes. that is really not hard because of our board members. I am the president and the only one who is over, I'd say, over 26 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, our board members are primarily between ages, I would say, ages 18 to 26, okay. um, apart from myself. And so these people are people who are actually the young persons living yeah. in the Belmopan area. And so they know what the needs are of the mm -hmm. youth, and they bring that to the table, and we see how best we can fit that yeah. into our plans and into different programs and activities that we have. So mm -hmm. we're always coming up with new activities and we are coming up with new programs yeah. and we're also trying to sustain the other ones that we have right. had. Most of our programs and activities have been successful. Yeah. What would you say um, would be some of the greater challenges that you've been facing um, as you move forward to try to grow this organization or to move forward? I would say that we, ha we do have some, some very big challenges. Mm -hmm. um, one of those is that we are a volunteer-based organization. Mm -hmm. yeah. So even though we have, um, the community may look at us from seeing that we have had projects that were funded. Those funds were for a specific, they were specifically budgeted for certain activities. Right. right. And right. there are many other activities and programs that we have been doing that we, and new ones that we are now implementing that really is not covered at all under those. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, we don't have any grant funding at this very moment. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're looking to partner with the British High Commission and UK on a new project okay. that's been finalized now. Okay. But again, that's geared towards an after-school tutoring program. Okay. So that has nothing to do with, for example, our canoe team, yeah. right. or for example, our band, mm -hmm. right. right? Or right. for example, any other programs that we have been have okay. going. Yeah. Okay. And so um, we feel like that might have been miscommunicated in the community. And mm -hmm. so we are asking the community to support the new programs that we have yeah. going right. coming yeah. on board. Yeah. Um, additionally, I think I mentioned volunteerism. Yeah. We're a volunteer-based mm -hmm. organization, mm -hmm. and we don't have a volunteering culture yeah. Yeah. in Belize on a whole. So it's it's very difficult to get the, for example, to get the parents or family yeah. members or even any community member to come along and commit to volunteer. Yeah. When we do have volunteers coming out, it's really basically on their own time. Like they right. prefer to drop in when they can. Right. And we are trying to get structured programs in mm -hmm. place. So that's yeah. really not working out yeah. for us. So that really burns out myself and the executive okay. and other committee members who want these, committee, these committees and these activities to run smoothly. Yeah. So those are some challenges that we are trying our best how to you know to meet and how to face those challenges and overcome them mm -hmm. yeah. we might need to find a, a grant that will pay with volunteers pay staff <laughs> or some of, you don't pay for our staff you know yeah. or something yeah. like that but it's true because a lot of people and I work with hope for life and it's the same problem that we have finding volunteers is very very hard and for many different reasons yeah. a lot of yeah. people are working or they're in school and it doesn't clash with our time or people just can't afford to not have a job and be volunteering they expect to get paid right you know so i can totally relate to that yeah part. i love what you said you use the the phrase volunteer culture we don't have that but i can see that there's potential for that to grow and to, mm -hmm. to start when you've got such incredible young people working um, with you right now. Well, that's true, Alida, because even at Bay, we have seen a shift in that from yeah. when we first started. Um, Stacy can probably um, relate to this. We started on a small project in the park, mm -hmm. and we really didn't have any volunteers. Mm -hmm. But now, four years after, we can see where even though we still lack volunteers and we still we do we can um, attest that people are coming and you yeah. know it's shifting. It's yeah. shifting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Stacey, you could jump in anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But um, what makes you, I know you said this was something that you're passionate about, about four years, Jacose, mm -hmm. about four yeah. years later, you're still going. And I know you've had your own challenges, but what makes you still want to keep going and volunteering? Maybe that will inspire other people. <laughs> I mean, I have seen within my own self, mm -hmm. whereby I was probably four years ago, as the, the organization was just developing mm -hmm. um, to where it has brought me from there to then, mm -hmm. as it pertains to my own development. Yeah. Yeah. And I've realized that I want to share this with others. Mm -hmm. And so I keep on working with the organization because I want others to get grab on to that oppor from the opportunities yeah. that I have been um, that has been available to me yeah. through the program and so I want others to join on and I want the process to continue and mm -hmm. that young people are getting informed and educating about the you know our society about trainings and about other things that will help them in their developmental mm -hmm. stage. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important for us um, Andrea and Alida to see the leadership qualities in the young people yes. and to really push them forward. Yes. That's very, very important to us that yeah. we don't always, um, or me, for example, as a president, I don't always go forward. I allow the young people to move forward and I just try to guide them along and get other people and other volunteers mm. who are more seniors to work along with them and guide them along. Yeah. So, and that leads us to, you know, why we're here today because you guys um, are embarking on a new journey again you're starting <laughs> up something yeah. which i think is so essential it's, it's very much needed today and um it's the bay mentoring program right, right, right. and you guys had your uh, first training last on week which was saturday, saturday the fifth mm -hmm. and yes the 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 calling it the bay mentoring program and formalizing that program is new to bay mm -hmm. but mentoring itself is not new to bay. Right. we have been mentoring youths over mm -hmm. the past four years and in my case even beyond because prior to bay i was working with young people yeah um, for a number of years so mentoring is not new to bay but formalizing our and, and having a structured program which we call our bay mentoring program and having youths and mentors, mentee and mentors graduating from that program, which we mm -hmm. hope to see in the next six or so months, um, that is something that we really, we're looking forward to, but again, we cannot do it. Right. Without. So um, right. I myself, I'm not coordinating that program. That program is being coordinated by Stacy, which is why she's here to talk more in depth into that okay. program. Okay, so what, um, what are some of the things you wanna share with us about the, the mentorship program? Okay, like Miss Anna mentioned before that we at Bay, we do do mentoring, but it's highly impossible for us to, to, to attempt to, to guide each and every young person within the organization. Mm -hmm. So we have decided that we need to come up with a program mm -hmm. that would allow these young people to be guided, to be taught the proper way. Yeah. And so we've decided that, you know, we need to implement a mentorship program. So on Saturday, we had our first training, and um, this training was done by Ms. Diana, Diana Shaw. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It was a wonderful, excellent presentation by her. We're looking forward to this upcoming Saturday, where we will do our second part of our training session for the mentors. And we're here today inviting people who would be interested um, in this initiative to come out and to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, it will begin from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And so we would like everybody who is interested to come on to the Civic Center on Saturday mm -hmm. and to see what we are up to and to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's for the training, mm -hmm. right? Um, how long are you wanting this particular program to last? I, th I heard Miss Anna mentioned six months. Is this a year for the mentorship program or how, how long is it gonna last? Okay, so our intention is that with from the beginning of the program uh -huh. to within this to six months, we're going to award these young people depending on how they are within the program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, after we intend that the program lasts for a year. Okay. okay. So at, at the following after the following six months, we would like them to graduate from the program. Okay. And we would like to award them based on where their interests are. For example, if there are young people who we are mentoring that is presently unavailable to go to sixth form, mm -hmm. okay. we would like to award them with a scholarship or so forth. Right. So you know, we have a lot planned for these young people, 
and we ask anybody who is interested and might not have the time mm -hmm. to be a part as a mentor. If you're interested, you can help out probably as being a part of the committee and making those decisions mm -hmm. as it pertains mm -hmm. to the program. Or you can help us with funding because it will be of an expense to our organization. Yeah. So any help um, that is there for us, we are accepting. Okay. And so what type of mentors are you looking for? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want inter to interject before Stacey answers that? <laughs> well, um, I wanted to mention, because Andrea said earlier, well, if I had the time, I would. And that is exactly what we want to speak to potential mentors about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, you really don't need to have a specific time, apart from the training sessions that mm -hmm. is required. And those are two sessions, which would be any two days. Well, for now, the first training sessions we have last Saturday and this coming Saturday, which okay. is November 5th and 12th. Mm -hmm. okay. But um, we will be having other training sessions, and we will try our best to accommodate the timing to suit the um, potential mentors. But it, apart from those training sessions, the timing that you, the time that you need to spend with your mentee is not apart from the time that whatever you're doing now. Okay. For instance, if on Saturday you take time to do gardening or your laundry or shopping, you can have your mentee with you doing those activities mm -hmm. and that would teach them. They would be learning. <coughs> Regardless of what it is, they would be learning yeah. in, in some practical way in, and may, maybe some mentor have some technical skills that they would like to share. For example, maybe we have mentors who do farming. Okay. Um, we, we, are, we are asking for five hours minimum a week with your mentee. Okay. So that could be like, for example, that could be maybe you worship on Sunday, you can take your mentee with you to the worship, have maybe Sunday dinner, and then that could be the end of the mentee and the mentor session okay. as it relates to your physical contact. We're okay. asking that you maintain a close relationship with your mentee in terms of calling, texting, email, Facebook, whatever it is mm -hmm. that you know you can communicate through. But it is not required of the mentor to take away from whatever he or right. she normally does, okay. for example, on the weekends, and take that time and say, okay, I have to take five hours now and try to figure out what I'm going to yeah. do with this person. Yeah. Yeah. So that's not the idea. How, to, how yeah. are we going to get this done? We're going to try to match. As um, Stacey will probably go into this a little bit more, how we're going to choose the mentor okay. and the mentee and so on. All right. Well, as it pertains to the mentors, um, and the mentee, we have decided that the structure for the program is a bit semi-formal mm -hmm. in the fact that we will provide you with minimum times to spend with these young people. Okay. We will give you a report sheet to do monthly reports, but it's open for you to, like Miss Anna had mentioned, that it's open to you to do whatever you want with these young people okay. as it pertains to where you like to take them and so forth. So it's it's open, it's not structured to only, we're setting a place for you to be with these young people. It's mm -hmm. open for your own ideas. Um, so that's as it pertains to the structure. Okay. okay. That's well, helpful because I, I think breaking hearing it broken down that mm -hmm. way, that, that um, makes it a little less intimidating, you know? Mm -hmm. Because I think when you hear the word mentor, you think you have to be at a certain level or, or have accomplished <laughs> certain things. <coughs> But yeah. that, it and doesn't sound like that's the what mentor, you're looking Alina, I'm glad you mentioned that. A mentor doesn't have to be able to even know how to read and write. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really. Because we have wonderful parents who who's, um, doesn't have that skill, uh -huh. but they, yet they produce um, meaningful mm -hmm. right. senses in our community. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. we're asking that... Um, we are asking our mentor that we will assist them with the reporting process if needs be. Okay. And then we will find where this mentor cannot um, assist or support the mentee in certain ways. And that yeah. comes back to the organization. Okay. So, for instance, you have a mentee, but you're not able to help that mentee with homework that might be needed. Mm -hmm. You know, right. you, either you don't have the time or you don't right. have the skill. Right. Then we said, okay, this is where Bay comes in. We have an after-school homework center mm -hmm. where we'll, we'll work with the youth. If it is that you have a, a mentee that needs extra support in the form of maybe counseling, if that mentee maybe was exposed to some form of abuse or something that you feel like there is something there that you need extra help with, mm -hmm. then the organization would come in and try to get counseling for that mentee apart from um, your interaction, the mentor's interaction yeah. with the mentee. So a mentor really, all we're asking is that we do have a criteria because we have a, a form that the mentor would have to 
feel. Okay. But it's, the form basically goes along the line with asking personal questions like what are your habits, do you drink alcohol, mm -hmm. um, what do you do for extracurricular activities, mm -hmm, right. and um, how often you do these things. And okay. it doesn't really necessarily mean that you cannot be a mentor if the answer is yes or no, okay. but it just gives us an idea of who we're dealing with. Right. We mm -hmm. also need to do a background check on each mentor because you're dealing with the most, the most um, precious treasure that we right. have, our right. children. Our young people. Yeah. So we, uh, yeah, our youth. So we, w we would not just give our youth to just anyone. Right. Mm -hmm. Definitely we'll do a, a background check. So we're starting very basic. We're starting with people from our community that are well known, okay. that we don't have to go into any in-depth research right. on. And right. these people will recommend new people. Okay. And like we're doing now, we're asking out there, and if anybody knows, then they come visit the Bay Office or okay. go online and apply. And we, okay. we, have, we have a committee that have that will be doing all these different um, okay. checks and you know whatever okay. research is needed in order for us to make sure that this person is credible and <coughs> I'm sorry and worthy to become a mentor. Okay. Well, let us continue the discussion, but um, I think we need to take a little break, and then we will come back and continue this discussion, and then. Um, Anna and Stacey will share how you can become a mentor and I think you've said some of the criteria already but yeah let's take that break and then we will come back and continue this discussion. Here are some latest samples from Roots and Honors Records. Just a glimpse of his glory, just a hint of majesty. Lord be my hero, my hero, Lord be my hero, my hero, come and be my light, my time is right. Life gives you lemons, make a lemonade, oh, it's a salad. I'll take boardwalk off your hands for $1,000. It's almost triple. Nope. Okay, fine. I'll give you $2,000 plus the utilities. Take it or leave it. Is that all you got? Okay. I know you won't refuse this. What's good barbecue worth to you? Grace Barbecue Sauce. Builders we are ready. celebrating 22 years of service. Builders Hardware, a member of Do It Best Corporation, invites you to the grand opening of the newly renovated store in Belmopan on November 11th and 12th. Shop in comfort with our new signage, display shelves, our friendly and supportive sales representatives, and much more efficiency with our newly installed four cashier stations. There will be lots and lots of snacks and giveaways along with a huge store-wide sale and discounts up to 50% 
50% discount on selected items, 20% off paints, 25% off water heaters and pumps, up to 25% on power tools, and new to it best items. Look out for other great deals right up to the end of December. Remember to pick up a builder's hardware gift certificate for that loved one. Come celebrate with us. New and improved image and great service. We have everything from construction start to finish. Builders who build with a passion and skill go to Builders Hardware. Welcome back everybody to Life Uncommon. We are here live in the studios of Plus TV and we are joined by Mrs. Anna, Anna Banner Guy, Anna Banner Guy and Stacey Pope, both of Bay, Belmopan Active Youth, and they're talking about um, Bay mentoring program that the training just started yeah. in uh, last week. So the program will be kicking off pretty soon. And, um, you know, and I just put me in at my place <laughs> on live television when I say I don't have time. I wish I had time. <laughs> so after Anna Stacey shared that, I feel so bad now, kind of like, okay, that's not a good excuse. You can't use, you don't know, have time I because, know. you know, she put it in very simple. It's not like you have to create that extra time in your day to do this, but you're bringing them into what you're already doing, right, Stacey? Yes. Um, one of the things people need to know that mentoring, mentoring is something that deals with a lot of involvement, mm -hmm. okay. and it's a relationship being built, and it's a relationship that interchange and exchange, because while the mentee is learning from the mentor, the mentor also learns mm -hmm. from that young person in whatever yeah. era they probably yeah. are yeah. more familiar with than, mm -hmm. than the mentor. And um, mentoring is different from guiding. It's I mean, it's different from teaching yeah. and okay. it's different from coaching mm -hmm. okay. because the reward that you get from after being with a mentor and going through a mentorship program is wonderful i mean yeah. uh, that relationship built is not only with the program but it goes further beyond the mm -hmm. program yeah. and so our hope and intention is that after these young people graduate from the program that the relationship that they have with their mentor is life lasting yeah yeah. 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 yeah yeah but anna i have a question for you mm -hmm. because be too hard. <laughs> 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 but you you mentioned very early on um when i asked about this program that Yes, this program may be new, but mentoring hasn't been new. From the get-go, you all have been mentoring. So as the president of Bay, why is this such an important thing for you guys to, to be implementing and doing with these young people? Well, as Stacy said earlier, mentoring is really in depth. Mm -hmm. And yes, we have been mentoring, but we realize that we don't have the capacity within our organization mm -hmm. in terms of mentors, in terms of, um, I don't want to say teachers, because mentors are far beyond teaching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, it's more like parenting at mm -hmm. another level. Mm -hmm. And we realize that we need, we need more mentors to come in and assist us in this work that we, are, we have embarked on. Mm -hmm. The mentoring that we have been doing have been all informal, so to speak. Um, the, the, the results have shown within the youths that we have worked with, mm -hmm. so it is very real. Now we would like to have that documented. We would like to have that more structured. We would like to have that within the realms of getting these mentors trained because even mm -hmm. though I may say I am a mentor and I feel I can be a good mentor, there are so many things that the information that are out there that can be passed on to me that I can pass on to this and build this relationship even stronger. It's like parenting. You're a parent and you're a parent you know, some by choice, some not by choice, but right. as soon as you become a parent, the parenting skills kick in. Yes. But if you go to a parenting <laughs> session, there's so much more to learn yes. yet to yeah. pass on to yeah. that relationship between yeah. you and your child. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same with the mentor and mentee relationship, and that is what we want to do at Bay. We want to have something that is more meaningful 
and that is more lasting, like mm -hmm. Stacy said. Yes, it's going to be formal, structured. We're going to have graduation. We're going to have awards. But the relationship we're hoping will remain. It's mm -hmm. not like at the end of the program. What we're hoping is that each mentee will end up becoming a uh, uh, have a mirror, mirror effect and end up becoming a mentor eventually. Oh, that's exactly. great. Yeah. yeah. And that's what makes it sustainable. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why is it important to have a mentor? Um, well, before I answer your question, okay. let me <laughs> add on to what Ms. Anna said. And one of the things that mentoring we're looking for is something like discipling. Mm -hmm. It's something oh, like okay. discipleships. And Michelle had mentioned that one of one of the biggest mentors has been Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Because yes. as you look, he had his disciples. Mm -hmm. yes. And these disciples followed him, they studied him. And eventually these disciples multiplied. Yeah. Yes. And now everybody knows about Jesus because yeah. of the teachings that he portrayed onto his disciples. So in this mentoring program, we're looking for multiplication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. the person who you've mentored will eventually grow up mm -hmm. and continue on the process and they mentor someone else. Yeah. And it takes one person to make our country a better place. Mm -hmm. And so if we have positive role models who feels like they are into this program and want to see a change in our young people, then it begins here. Yeah. 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 And um, Andrea and Alida, I heard you all before we came on talking about Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And we have a lot of workers on Facebook. Yes. And I know they're workers because it takes energy. It takes uh, a lot of um, a lot of mental um, exaggeration, um, exhortation to get right. all these posts out. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, and so it takes time, most of yeah. all. So we're saying to all our followers on Facebook and all the people out there in the community in general that mm -hmm. spend so many time like doing so many things mm -hmm. and say how many mm -hmm. changes they want. This is an opportunity for you to actually step out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. for those of you who believe you have the skills to mentor mm -hmm. a youth. And um, you know, we have youth that are different just like you are. So you might say, right. well, I only like being behind my computer. I don't, I can't mentor. You have young people who just like being behind the computer yes. also. <laughs> so yeah. whatever it is that you right. do, you don't right. have to be an athlete to mentor a young person. You know, yeah. you don't have to be mm -hmm. any in any particular field. Um, wherever you are, I believe that there's some knowledge and information mm -hmm. you can pass on to a younger person. Yeah, and I, the reason why I love this idea too is I think our young people, they need a friend and you mm -hmm. know, and so yeah. to me also as a mentor, I see that as a person that will be a friend that will take the time to listen and get to know this young person. We always, I think a lot of times complain about how our young people are, mm -hmm. what they're not doing, mm -hmm. what you know, and how come they're like this and blah, blah, blah. And we, but we don't take the time to get to know these young people. So this is an excellent way as well for those people who say, you know, I would love to do something. I want to help. What can yeah. I do? Yeah. If you could just, you know, contact Stacy and say, you know, I'm interested in this. That's a good step forward because we all have a part to play in you know, transforming our country, and this, I think, is a good way to start doing that. Yeah. And the reality is that our children are being mentored. Mm -hmm. They're one way or the other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're absolutely right, yeah. whether it's in a positive way or a negative way. And I do mm -hmm. like um, uh, how you answered that question because I, I think it's important that that multiplication and somebody yeah. like and using the example of Jesus he he just lived his life he, he told stories he interacted with people and and that's what it sounds like this this program is all about getting um, mentors and mentees to interact with each other and and then being able to multiply that out yes mm -hmm. yeah that's great so have you had somebody in your life uh, do you have a mentor we didn't talk about this question yeah. but do you, have you had some mentors along the way that have impacted you yes i presently still have mentors um probably i need to contact some of them though because i don't think they're doing such a wonderful <laughs> job <laughs> if they haven't been available to me recently but um i have people like miss anna for example uh -huh. that i look up to and has guided me as it pertains to 
my development, mm -hmm. um, professionalism, and the whole, the entirety of, yeah. you know, growing up and maturing into a, a wonderful young lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's my experience mm -hmm. with yeah. having mentors. Yeah. Yeah. I did stay here for her prom. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> when she was graduating from high school. Yeah. So, um, I've been with her. And many of the other youths um, for some years, yeah. you know, sustainability is very important yes. mm -hmm. in mentoring, mm -hmm. that you sustain that relationship, you know, and it doesn't have to be a, an everyday thing, but at least that you check back with the person, you send a message, send a text, know mm -hmm. that they're okay, mm -hmm. and encourage them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we want people who are watching the show to know, if you're watching and you're interested, you probably are one of, or like probably be one of our good mentors yeah. because you have the interest level there already. Yeah. Yeah. And so we need people who are interested in youth. We need people who have a passion for working with young people because mm -hmm. they can be a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. And so once you're a positive person, once you believe you can motivate, encourage, and challenge them to bring out the best in them, then you are a candidate okay. to be one of our yeah, mentors. That's is, great. Is there an age range that we're starting from with the mentors? Well, for the mentors, we discuss it and we've said that at the age 21 and mm -hmm. up, once okay. you're beyond yeah. age 21, then you are possible to be a mentor. Okay. We okay. have applications form at our Bay office, so you can stop by, pick up a form, fill it out, and then we would contact you back. Okay. But like I said, if you'd like, if you're interested, you can stop by to the Civic this Saturday to be a part of the mentor training because we believe the training is very important. Yeah. And if you weren't able to be there last week Saturday, we still will provide all the information that you have missed. Mm -hmm. So you still can be a part of the program, Excellent. although you missed it. Excellent. Excellent. That's all right. Great. Well, we don't get the sign. Wrap up, right? So, but. Um, before we go, I would like for you guys to share quickly about um, the art festival that's coming yes. up. Yes. Right. So who wants to share about that quickly? Well, <laughs> Bay, we're having, at Bay we're having our second annual art festival. We had it last year and it was an absolutely success. The artists were very happy and they were content. You know, this we decided to have it over at the May Garden Park okay. because we wanted more attraction to the um, event. Right. It was on a Saturday and it was in uh, the Civic Center. So unless you had known about the event before, you right. would not have been able to attend the event. Mm -hmm. This year we have it at the park. We are having it at the park. So if you're just driving by, if you're passing by, even from the day before, it's going to create some kind yeah. of attraction right. to the community. Yeah. Right. <coughs> So um, again, that's November 26th. Okay. We're asking all artists to, um, uh, to either go online. We have a Bay Art Fest Facebook page, especially for you, where we have the application and registration form and all that information that we'll be needing. So information to access is very easy. We are asking each artist to register early because we spaces are limited. Okay, and we okay. also have booths for, for like food and drink vendors. Okay, okay excellent. Great. All right, well, um, we have to wrap up now. I already said we are wrapping up, but I do want to say thanks to Anna and Stacy for coming today and just sharing with us about the Bay Mentoring Program. And I really hope that they will get some, a lot of mentors from you all or viewers who are watching the show. And even if you are unable to, you may know somebody that would be excellent at doing um, participating in this program so please contact them they are on facebook their office is at the civic center right yeah the civic center. Mm -hmm. and you have a facebook page mm -hmm. how do you how do you get a hold of you all right so we have a web page okay. um belopan active youths.org we have a facebook page belopan okay. active youths and we also have a uh, like i said a new facebook page um just for the event the art festival okay, okay. so we are out there just um you know look for us on the internet and, okay. and you will be able to find us um, we are a very active organization so if it is that you want to do anything with us we prefer if you come in physically to the office and just mm -hmm. so we can meet you, you know, because we work with youth, that's what, yeah, right, that's what we right. do. So <laughs> yeah. we want to meet the people that's working along with us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'd just like to take this opportunity, if I may, mm -hmm. Andrea, to thank uh, many people who have been alongside us throughout the, from the beginning to now. One of our main um, partner is the Belopan City Council. Okay. Yeah. We are actually a part of the Belopan City Council. I started this initiative as a city councillor, and we have had tremendous support from the city, from our mayor, 
you know, the Develop and Active Youth is being hosted um, under the, the city's, city's building, which is the Civic Center. Uh -huh. So um, we do the trainings there and all that. So they continue to support and, and sponsor us in many different um, events and activities and programs that we have. Um, we have gotten tremendous support from the United States Embassy. We also want to say a big thank you to the British High Commission um, okay. in Belize for um, partnering with us on yet another project, which we will come back sometime to discuss more about okay. that new project that we're about to embark on. Um, anybody else, Stacey, that we want to thank? Yeah. Of course, the community, the people who are always coming out to serve along mm -hmm. with us, and the parents for allowing and entrusting your children in our care. That's very important to yeah. us. To, um, you know, for, for the parents to feel, feel safe to know if their child is going to an activity that they is having, mm -hmm. that they would just feel comfortable knowing that we have um, good volunteers uh, that will be able to take care of your child until the program is finished. Yeah. Okay. And Stacey, any last Well, words? I just want to close by giving an invitation out to, to Belmont Pan and let them know to come out and to join our program. We want them to know that if you've seen us, we have called a couple of people and um, if we've called you that you should be privileged, feel privileged, <laughs> because that means we're not boring. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be involved with yeah. our young people. Okay, and yeah. so I want to thank everybody who has accepted our invitation and those who will accept it throughout mm -hmm. the, the, the rest of the week. We want to tell you thank you guys for being a part and supporting us. Thank you, Stacey, yeah, and thank, thank you, Anna. You. And of for course, so much thanks for being with us. to Life Uncommon for having us here this morning to talk about our program. This is very important to us, mm -hmm. and it goes right along with what you guys do. So, you know, we are we're happy that th there's an outlet that we feel very comfortable that nobody's going to turn off the TV because <laughs> they expect, <laughs> it, expect that we'd be talking about something positive. All right. Right. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. We are so glad that, that you guys came out and shared with us. And, you know, as part of Life Uncommon, we want to help women especially to, to find their gifts and discover who they are and, and I love what Bay is doing because you also are impacting the lives of young women in, in this country. So that's great. I know it's not just for women. I mean I know that there are young men as well but we're very excited about that. So we do want to say thank you to our sponsors, to Grace Kennedy Belize, and to Roots and Honor Records, and thank you to everybody that's been watching because we absolutely could not do the show without you. That's right. <laughs> Over and out, amigos. <laughs> we will be back here next week <laughs> with Grace Kennedy Belize. I hear Wayne is coming to join us, and of course we will be, you know, celebrating the 19th. That's right. So that's right. it will be and a, that's fun. Always a fun show. Yes. yes, it will be a fun show. So we will see you guys back here next week. Thank you, Serena Ryan. <laughs> we forgot. Oh. To